going to show you how to set up my plugin Joomey. What you need to do is you need to first go to the plugin page on Pocket Dev, download the latest uh, version of it today is the latest version 0 0.6.1 and you download that, drop it in your plugins folder and start up the server and the config items for the server is uh, the following so I'll show you right now dev server plugins jewel me right so there's the I'll show you the config file it generates so when you start up your server with the plugin this is the file these are the two files that will be that will be made so config version is the config version you don't need to touch that check for updates the plugin check for updates for the newer versions uh, you should leave that on true uh, announce jewel start so if you want the when the jewel starts do you want the announcement to show to every player if not change it to false same with the deaths when a player dies do you want to announce the death and that's all you need to really change in the config the locations to show what locations are set you do not need to uh, touch any of these because they're all set in game so what I'm going to do now is uh, go onto my own server and set it up from there it's the exact same as if I did it here so I don't want uh, the video to lag when I'm recording so if I I think I have, I'll change my game mode so I'll change my game mode to creative and what we'll do now is well this is, is a, as you can see it's a big box literally it's all just um, it's all made out of glass and I should really we should really uh, fix the ho there should be no holes in the top so they can't players cannot get out so where we have on um, well our first player spawn we're gonna set it here so if I do slash jewel admin so jewel admin set player one spawn I mean, we're just going to set the first player spawn to this place and the opposite side is where the second player spawns so that will be here on this marking it but a different color block a different blocks you can see so set player to spawn so we have the two player spawns set and now the next thing we need to do is to set a spectate spawn so set spectate spawn that sets the spectator spawn so when players spectate they spawn in here they're able to fly as well bear in mind so that's why it's in an enclosed box and the next thing we need to do is to set the lobby spawn so I'll stand right here and set lobby spawn next thing we need to do now is to find a player to jewel so what I'm going to do now is find a player that uh, I can jewel with so I have bear in mind to see my inventory here and I am in creative mode so I'll just uh, let me see if I can find someone to jewel happy will you jewel me so I'll send them a request now so jewel happy Right, so the second he accepts this, it'll start to jewel in 15 seconds. Now, let's see, see that I can't move. I'm stuck in the same place. So, oh, he's got an axe and I have a, a wooden sword. So we'll see how this plays out. Right, let's go. I'm probably going to die here. I don't think he, oh, he did hit me. Oh, he only has one health left. Uh, come on, fight me. Here, I'll let him hit me a bit. This is a, this is my, oh, crap. Whoa, he's getting a few hits in there, isn't he? Crap, I died. Right, you see, I died right when I respawn. I'll respawn in this area. i respawn in the same place. Uh, so, I'll try another duel again. Right, ready to go. He accepts it. <laughs> it's random. So it gives a random item to each player. Uh, to be a config for that uh, later on. 
And after getting the iron hoe, which is absolutely really bad, so let's see what happens anyway. Oh, he got a he got an a, a shovel, and I'm probably gonna die again. Right, I'm gonna stop doing this now before I get my I get I embarrass myself. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna change back to creative. So um, well, let's thank him. Thanks for. Last choice. <laughs> right, so say for it, my server is a non PVP server, okay? So, how do you make it to um, allow PVP in a non PVP server? So, how I do it is uh, you need um, World Guard, so region, region, flag. Global PVP deny. This will set up a global flag that um, denies PVP to anyone on the server. So now if I do slash one, so we'll set up a region here. So I'm going to mark the bottom left, bottom part of this right here. And I'm going to go up to the top corner of the next part up here. I already have this region set up, but I'm just doing it again to show you. So if I get some leather, so actually see the name. See the name of it? Okay, the name of it is PvP. So if I do slash region redefine PvP. In your case, you're going to be region define PvP. So once you have the region defined, you're going to do region flag PVP, PVP, PVP allow. Where this um, this PVP is the name of your region, second PVP is the flag name, and it allows PVP in that area. So, and I also have mob spawning deny, you might want to add that as well. So how you do it is region flag PVP, and you type mob spawning deny. So it'll stop mob spawning from in there as well. And that's what you want. So. That's also how to set it up in a non-PVP server if you just want PVP in this area and nowhere else. Um, I'll just demonstrate this to you. So if I TP to the f f person I just I was just PVPing, so see if I try hit him, uh, it doesn't say anything. But this part this is towny because there's no PVP. But if you're outside in the wilderness, it'd say um, you're in a no PVP area. So Thanks very much for watching, comment, subscribe if you have any features that you'd like me to add to this plugin, leave a comment below and you could also post on the Bucket Dev page if you'd like to me to add a feature. Thanks very much for watching, goodbye.